Right well, guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to my channel. And uh, don't know if you if you follow Jason over at Model Kit Stuff or Rob over at Rims Models. Uh, they're doing a group build coming up really soon, which is uh, for commercial vehicles. And uh, I've put my name forward to be part of that. And uh, what I thought I'd do is just show you selection of kits that I've got from uh, I've just dug out of the stash and uh, trying to decide which one to do for the commercial vehicle ones so we'll go over to the bench and we'll go through what I've got there well I do have a number of kits in the uh, in the stash that could be classed as commercial vehicles and uh, some of them are a little bit weird and uh, some aren't <laughs> um, so what I thought I'd do is let, let's start with the, the sort of old weird uh, coming up to sort of modern ones and modern kits and that sort of thing so th th there's a couple of really old kits that I, I, I sort of quite fancy doing as part of this commercial group build um, and I'm going to go through them and uh, you have, have a look through see what you think and leave your comments below um it'd be interesting to see what everybody thinks of of uh you know the different kits that i'm going to put forward so yeah so if you have a you know have a look and yeah leave a comment see what you think so the first one i think this is this one would probably be um a little bit sort of popular with with some of the my American uh, viewers um, this is um, a, a really old basic kit it, as you can see it's a pyro kit it's in 132nd it's a vintage brass car and it's a 1915 Ford pie wagon um, <laughs> you see a price on there 65p that I mean that must have been the price when it first came out over here um, it's part of their set vintage brass cars and it's part number C459-125 and it, I think number 9 in the series um, and it's it's a yeah vintage brass car 132nd brass finished parts soft vinyl tyres and separate wheels complete motor chassis and interior detailing and authentic vintage automobile colour and clear plastic parts and uh, easy to assemble printed in Canada made in the USA um, it's it is really quite a simple kit and it does have instead of chrome parts it has brass parts really weird little foot little rubber tires there's four there is four of them in there I did check there is four in there you can see there's, there's sort of one tucked in there and there's one over here but yeah very straightforward really weird colored plastic but I think that would pro <laughs> probably go together as quite a neat little car and uh, the, the beauty of this is instead of having like details on the side of the van they've got this sort of raised molding really nice really nice for its time don't know when this came out probably in the 60s or 70s I don't know um, there's a, there's a bit on the instructions here. What I'll do is let's pull those out um, and see if there's anything on there to give us a clue as to the age. Because it is quite a cool little kit. Um, gives you a list of the, the cars. They were $1.25, guys. So um, you guys over there in the, in the, in the States, you might, <laughs> might, from the price of that, you might actually get an idea. And they're, they're one thirty second scale stock cars, sixty cents each. Um, wow, you know that shows how old this is. Um, really basic instructions as well, as you can see from that. Um, so anyway, that's that's the first option in the series. So I'll clear this away and get the next one. So the next one. It's a, a really old Revel kit. I've had this in the stash for a while. This is a, as you can see from this, is a sort of petrol tanker. 
um, and it's a really really old rebel kit I mean it's, it's got a copyright marking there from 1980 um, made in Great Britain by Revel um, when they had their factory over at Potter's Bar um, it's 10 inches long um, it's got detailed engine torsion bar suspension open valve compartment two figures uh, a tilt forward cab finely engraved tanker details and full color decals don't know what the decals are like but if you're interested in trying to hunt this one down it's their kit number 7311 um, and this, this is another one which is uh, those were the days when parts came on trees I bought this uh, previously loved um, and I think the original owner had taken all the parts off of the spruce there is a bit of a sprue there um, they've either come, <laughs> been taken off the sprue or they're, they're, uh, <laughs> they've been cut off so I've got some details um, and also these, these, are the, these are the decals from the kit and these are some decals that I bought on eBay um, I'm not sure about the I'm not sure about them whether they would work very well so I saw some on eBay um, so if push comes to shove I might stick these ones on they're slightly different fonts and stuff but I think for the purposes of this build they'll probably work and it's typical old school instructions again the instructions are copyrighted 1980 bit grey and <laughs> weather worn um, fairly straightforward build and uh, yeah be interesting got a couple of figures there guy kneeling down by the controls there and a guy up there is obviously going to be opening the, the top covers or whatever they are so yeah interesting interesting build again bit oddball something something different so I'll clear that one away and get the next one so the next <laughs> the next one from the stash is this and I, I know this is totally totally different um, it's <laughs> as you can see it's a sort of old English sort of um, passenger coach um, it's lifelike hobby kits number 09672 I have no idea of the scale I haven't even opened it it's still sealed um, so I really don't know but there's a whole I have a whole range here which is like the state coach of England uh, the Lafayette coach uh, which looks like something that was some sort of New Orleans something like that and a Roman chariot I've never seen another one advertised so yeah odd but hey, um, I don't know. Um, I really don't. I don't. Like I say, I haven't even opened this. But uh, that might be one to add as a commercial vehicle and painting horses. That'd be different. Um, so the other one I've got in the stash is this. This is uh, the British Lorry 3 ton LGOCB type. Um, this may look familiar to you uh, if you followed Jeff Donoghue's channel uh, he made a brilliant brilliant build of this um, in fact I think it's still on it on his on his website on his, on his uh, YouTube channel as a header um, not really much to say about this it's a mini craft mini mini art kit 135th scale um, and like I say Jeff built one of these um, if I choose to build it um, I'm going to do a different one. I'm, I'm not going to do the, the one that Jeff did. Um, so I'm going to do one of these. One of these two, and I'm not sure which one yet. But possibly the red one. Um, because it looks like it might be from from London. It's a London address. This one, Cross Wharf E1. Um, so I think I might. That's that's the one that I'm tempted to do because it's a London one, and I like the idea of these old old white tyres. Um, so if I build that one, 
that, that's where I'd go. Um, my only concern with this is I'm not a particularly fast builder, as you may have noticed with some of the kits that I've done. Um, I don't know if I'll get this done in the time frame, but well, we'll see. Let, 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 you know, I'll have to think this one out. Let's go on to the next one. So the other one that I've got in the stash, which is a commercial vehicle, is, is the Mini Art uh, B-Type London Bus 1919. Um, I've had this in the stash for quite a while, trying to get a glare off it. Um, it's, as you can see, it's sealed. Um, it's it's a lovely kit, if, um, and I quite fancy building this one. It's a London bus. It's got all London uh, markings options here. Um, looks like eight different options. If you're interested in getting this, it's uh, kit number three eight zero three one, and it's in one thirty fifth scale. Um, so I'm not sure about that. For the self same reasons as I said for the 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 lorry. Um, I'm not a particularly fast builder, so I don't know if I'd be able to do this within the time frame. Um, but you know, let me know what you think. Give it, you know, put some comments down, and let, let's have a look and see what people think. I don't know if I'd be able to build this in the time frame, but uh, let's move on. I've got uh, one more to show you, and it is a very different kit. Okay, so finally. Um, this one is one that I've, I've had in the stash for a while. Um, this is a, a try and get it all in. So it's a mini craft kit. It's a 1931 Ford Model A delivery van. Um, it's 1 16th scale. Um, and again, if you're interested in getting it, um, try and get all in <laughs> in shot. It's uh, their kit number 11214. And being one sixteenth, as you can appreciate, it's actually massive. Um, yeah, I mean that's the that's the body of it. It's a massive, massive kit. It's lovely, actually. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get it <laughs> not gonna get it all out because um, it's uh, it's all still bagged up. Um, but it's in lovely, con you know, it's lovely condition. Again, I think I bought this one previously. Loved, straightforward, mini craft instructions. Um, I know that the engine detail on it isn't very good. It's good. There's a lot of lot of detail there, but you know, it cries out to be wired and and all that sort of whatnot done to it. Um, and again, it's time frame. Um, I don't know if I'd build it in the time frame, so um, I'm waiting for uh, either Jason or Rob to come up with the, the official launch of, of the group build uh, and the time frame we have, and then I'll make a decision. But again, guys, you know, leave a comment below, um, pick what you think. What you what you would like to see built? Um, I think you'll agree that there are a lot of different kits, but which one would you like to see me build? And uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that a little bit of fun, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.